The graph below contains triangle ABC and the point P. Draw the image of triangle ABC under dilation whose center is P and a scale factor of two. So essentially, we want to scale this so that every point is going to be twice as far away from P. So for example, B right over here has the same Y coordinate as P, but its X coordinate is three times, or is three more. So we want to be twice as far. So if this maps to point B, we just want to go twice as far. So we're at three away, we want to go six away. So point P's X coordinate is at three, now we're at nine. Likewise, point C is three below P. Well, we want to go twice as far, so we'll go three more. And point A is four above P. Well, we want to go four more. We want to go twice as far. One, two, three, four. And we get right over there. Then they ask us, what are the lengths of side AB and its image? AB, AB right over here. Let's see, we might have to apply the distance formula. Let's see, it's the base right over here, the change in the change in x between the two is three, and the change in y is four. So this is actually a three, four, five right triangle. Three squared plus four squared is equal to five squared. So AB is five units long, essentially just using the Pythagorean theorem to figure that out. And its image, well its image should be twice as long. And let's see whether that actually is the case. So this is a base right over here that's of length six. This has a height or this change in y. I could say if we, because I'm really just trying to figure out this length, which is the hypotenuse of this right triangle that I, I don't have my drawing tool, so I apologize. But this height right here is eight. So eight squared is 64 plus six squared is 36. That's 100, which is 10 squared. Just 10 squared. And so notice, our scale factor of two, the corresponding side got twice as long. Each of these points got twice as far away from our center of dilation.